You know, I wake up every morning, my first thought is, what part of me is not working today? And we are passengers on boats slowly sinking. Your boat is slow? I'm like when the Titanic was pointing up. So how's your love life? You're still seeing, uh, what's her name, Trisket? Tristan and no. Oh, that's too bad. She was kind of cute. Well, we didn't have much to talk about. You know, she was half my age. Half your age is still an old woman. Fuck you, Norman. Do the math. You have a visitor. Oh, Sandy. Hey, kiddo. Listen, when I'm gone, why don't you look after Norman? Me? Yeah, you're his best friend, right? I don't know, am I? No, but don't argue with her. You got it. Listen to me. We're all scared because it's a scary fucking world. But we get through it because we're not alone. Who do I have? Me. Daughter in rehab. Dad! I don't want to be here! Just keep going. Hello and welcome to this What Do You Want to Watch Emmy special pilot review for Outstanding Comedy Series nominee, The Convincing Method. I'm Ashley Hobley. Joining me today, Dylan Blight. I, too, like a method of doing stuff. The Dylan Method. Yep, that's what we only we commit here at the expression <laughs> to the Dylan Method of everything. <laughs> All right. Please be aware we will freely discussing everything and everything about the pop themes and ending of this episode. So if you haven't watched it, come back later. Uh, so let's jump to our discussion of the convincing method, episode one. Uh, an actor avoids, created by Chuck Law, aired November sixteenth, twenty eighteen, on Netflix. Directed by Chuck Law, written by Chuck Law, starring Michael Douglas, Alan Arkin, Sarah Baker, and Nancy Travis. Uh, as Sandy gets to know a new student better, he puts off visiting an old friend who wants to see him. Norman copes with a difficult issue at home. Uh, Dylan, what did you know of the Kaminsky Method prior to this, and what did you think of the first couple episodes? I knew it was a Chuck Lorre show, and I knew Michael Douglas was in it. Okay. No, that would be it. Yeah. I knew it was on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be it. Uh, this was really good. I quite enjoyed this. I, I think the the selling power, the the fact, the reason you would come, come back to watch this is simply seeing um, Michael Douglas and... Um, Alan Arkin just speak <laughs> about, I guess, anything. Like, th- those two are just such good actors that, you know, any scene where they're just talking to one another, I feel like it's just you happily watch it because they're such good actors and you're quite powerful just to watch. Um, also, really like Nancy Travis in this. Obviously, she's quite an important part. Um, and I presume she's going forward in the series, but sh- she's also really good in this. Uh, but it is those main two, and I not to not like I've spoiled the entire show for me. If I decide to go back and finish it, I would put this in the maybe pile. It's not at the top of my list, but it's something I would if I had time and I didn't have anything else of those other ones. Um, we've watched from these list of shows, any ones. This would be in the bottom of my list, but I would watch it all. But I do know he's not back in the third season. So yeah, um, and I, I don't know. I haven't looked up. I don't know what happens to his character, but I do. I do know that. From the story I read, it was because he didn't want to come back. So I don't know. Because of COVID. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. So. COVID protocols. Yeah. Which is understandable, I I guess. But it also makes me go, okay, well, I wonder if the third season's any good because, like, (laughs) if my whole sort of key reason I enjoyed the pilot so much is those two, I'm like, hmm, interesting. Don't know. Maybe. Uh, But yeah, obviously, there's a sort of dramatic undertone to the pilot with his. uh, What's the character's name? Uh, Norman. Norman's wife dying. So you've got this, you know, there is something serious and they're both like sort of aging men and, you know, t- there's a lot of talk about death and everything else yep. in the show. And I guess it just has that general feeling of, uh, I mean, it's been done a lot, isn't it? T- to a degree, there's like a genre of old men, um, old cranky men learning about life, you know, or discovering a, new view on life or something like that. It's all, it's almost like a subgenre of comedy nearly. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed it for what it was. I enjoyed the, the little romance that was set up between, um, Michael Douglas and Nancy Travis. And I enjoyed the, the back and forth between Michael Douglas and Alan Arkin. And I'd happily just watch them too for the rest of it. And I've watched the second episode, which was more of option B so I was quite happy with that, and that's the main reason I'd come back to the third, fourth, fifth episode or whatever else. Oh, also Sarah, um, Sarah Baker, his his daughter's really good in this. There's a uh, there's an early scene in the first in the pilot where, um, he, she gets that phone call as she's driving Nancy home, and 
yep. you know, because th- that's quite humorous and the way she sort of delivers that scene makes it quite good. So, yeah, I, I, I did enjoy it. I definitely, based off the pilot and then even the second episode I watched, there was nothing that screamed like, you know, Emmy worthy or, you know, like one of the must watch TV, but it was certainly entertaining. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a very enjoyable show, which is interesting to say, given the subject matter of death that seems to be surrounding the show. Um, Michael Douglas, Alan Arkin have like great banter throughout the couple episodes I've watched. Um, you know, and then, yeah, just the, the other element of the show that I wasn't expecting uh, was the actual acting classes, uh, which are a bit hit and miss, I think. It's like, to a certain degree, it's like, how dumb are these students? It's like, <laughs> uh, it, it, yeah, they're sometimes amusing, sometimes hard to watch. Uh, yeah, that, um, the one, I forgot about that actually. The, the, the couple who do the play sex thing or what we It's pretty much a, with, it's, 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 fucking, it's set up um, to a porno, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the plot of Game of Thrones because they're brother, sister or some weird shit. Yeah. Um, that was an odd, really offbeat, odd <laughs> thing to interject into the show. Yeah. Yeah, and it's so interesting that that obviously is. An element when a show like Barry is out at the same time, <laughs> covering yeah. a kind of similar subject matter. Uh, but yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I think you know, I think this. I I thought like some of the dramatic moments in the episode are like very well well done as well. You know, of uh, Michael Douglas coming to see Norman at the hospital. Uh, you know, and Norman not wanting to leave his wife. Um, you know. I can definitely see some of those more dramatic threads potentially being uh, like explored throughout the season and that kind of stuff. So definitely potentially going back to this one, um, you know, time permitting and mood permitting. I feel like it's like reasonably dark, like some of the stuff. Like <laughs> uh-huh. as you jump in, um, I even appreciated the scene with Michael and Eileen, like him going to see Norman's wife for the first, the one time in the episode. Um, and kind of exploring that. It's like it was a really beautiful scene that they had together. And it's like it's clear that he's like kind of scared of death and that kind of stuff. And like he was putting it off for so long. Uh, but yeah, it was a nice moment and that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I also watched like the next two episodes on top of the pilot, uh, the funeral episode, quite amusing. <laughs> uh, with a couple of special 20? appearances. Uh, Is episode, that the third one? The no, one I have next? Third episode's... Uh, no, the funeral was the second episode, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I thought they just brought the... The second episode was them buying the casket and everything, and you have that scene where he's, like, freaking out, going off at the dude, and Michael think, Douglas keeps trying to get him to leave. I'm pretty sure the funeral is at the end of that episode. Okay, I can't remember. But. Yeah, and then... Yeah, because the next episode definitely moves on to different subject matter of him... Of Alan Arkin having to deal with his daughter and... Uh, Michael Douglas, he's, he's cameo by Danny DeVito, in which Danny DeVito plays a, uh, a, a co- oncologist who, uh, you know, puts his fingers places. Uh, so, yeah, look okay. forward to that. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I think I mostly was put off by the convincing method because it's by Chuck Law and it's obviously his previous two bigger shows, Big Bang Theory oh, and... Uh, Two and a half men is like, oh, it's just going to be another show like that. And it definitely yeah. isn't like that. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Yeah, surprising. Which is why I never watched it as well. Like, when it came out, I was like, oh, it's Chuck Laura's show. So, like, I don't like Two and a Half Men. I don't like Big Bang Theory. So why would I want to watch this? That's why I never, never cared. <laughs> until yeah. we had to for this, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, very surprising. And, you know, more Alan Arkin, I think, is what we had in our lives really being cranky about stuff. Uh, he's such a good, if people don't know him, by the way, he's such a, like a cool, like he's just one of those dudes who's an actor, actor who just likes doing his job because he likes acting and he doesn't really care about awards. He doesn't really, you know, like he's never like at red carpet events or anything. He just, you know, yeah, just, just likes acting. Yeah. He's not interested in the celebrity element of it. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Let us know what you thought of the community method. Let us know if we could should keep watching uh, by going to explosionnetwork.com slash Twitter. 
and uh, or you can jump to the Discord at explosion.com slash Discord. Uh, if you want to help us out here at What Do You Want to Watch, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or on Podchaser or tell people about the show. And if you like this episode and thought it was worth it all, head on over to our ko page at explosion.com slash support. Thank you very much for listening, and until next time, keep watching stuff, I guess.